Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to do some Zisto Blast, I reckon. Um, mostly just because I want to finish off the area. And probably because it's going to be easy. Except for this guy, what's he doing? See you later. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be too hard an area, to be honest. Uh, provided we don't touch, let the zombie pigmen touch us, I think we're going to be just fine. Uh, I've already actually bridged out across this area, but I had to run back and get more blocks. Um... What I've learnt is that in Salaya Castle, I was looking for nothing. Uh, apparently, it is uh, the wool is actually a fleecy, a fleecy mob boss, and I've bridged it the wrong way here. I want to go past that. Uh, it's a fleecy mob boss, so it is not one of the the uh, hunter, the monster hunter um, heads. So. Apparently I was not correct in that, in saying that. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with that. So we need to go find those guys, I guess. I haven't seen any indication of any of them yet. Um, and I've, I've, I know that they're hidden in places. So I've just got to go find those places. Alright, let's... <laughs> Here's someone outside my door. Um... We got a Zistican spawner there. Uh, it looks like there's a hole in there though, so that'll be handy. They spawn me there and fall in the lava. Just swim in the lava, that'll that'll be handy. Uh, what I'll do... Hmm. What will I do? <sighs> the Zistikans are just so annoying. The best way to handle him is to come on the outside. So we're going to go down here, I think. Think. Right, we have not activated the spawner yet. We still haven't. This is good. Okay, that seems to be the range. So when we go over a little bit more, we will activate them. So we probably have to go up. Uh, luckily, the Zisticans will actually just charge at us, which is handy. Um, they, won't, they have no AI whatsoever. They just charge you. That fall will not kill me. Provided I got the Feather Falling Boots and I can guarantee you uh, that is, unless I've taken damage prior, it's not a fall that will kill me. Uh, although the mobs afterwards might. So, ooh, I was going to say pour lava down there, but I don't think that's a good idea either. To be honest, I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, we're going to go up. Up, up, up. Three, one, two. Up, up, up. Up, up and away. Just so the Zisticans can't hurt us. Should be within that s the range of that spawner in a sec. It is a radius, so as we go across... No, not yet. Hmm. Out of torches. I've got coal there. Lovely. Excellent. Excellent. Right, I think we're, we're definitely safe at this height, so we'll just go across here. So, the best way to deal with Zisticans is to not. It's just to avoid them. <laughs> Absolute best way, I guarantee you. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to get on this glass area here. Uh, I'll make sure I light this up with torches. Uh, I'm actually going to get the lava off my bar, because it won't help us. Uh, and I don't want to be... Oh, although we don't really have anything to put on there, so I'll leave it on there. But do... we just got to remember to not use the lava. Alright, what we're going to do... We've got three Zistican spawners. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, we have to tunnel. We, we don't have a choice but to tunnel. Uh, that only activates when we're inside this circle. So when we're in here, it's not going to activate, which is handy. So we'll just go over, and that spawner will activate. Yeah, easy. Easily within range of that. And oh, I'm worried about that skelly there. Skelly out. <coughs> oh, glad I coughed away from my microphone then. Yep, see him there? And they see me. Yeah. And I reach it, please. No skellies, good. Alright. And Robo. Alright. Now I will. Block this off. Oh! Right, 
Right, as such, give it a bit of light, and we'll see what we've got. <coughs> and a bit of lag, it's okay. I don't mind lag when I'm on top of this. Damn, the volumes that are spawning there, it's just ridiculous. I would love to drop a tan tan. You you with me right here in my room, you would have seen a light bulb appear above my head there. <laughs> oh, wow, it's so obvious. If I can get on top of this last name's easy to get on top of, so I can just drop TNT. Yep, there's our war room. There it is. Yep, you can see the bedrock. I believe it's a war room anyway. Yeah, see the chest, that's our war room. There it is. Alright guys. Let's go. Let's go kill us. Some spawners. Spawners. Nope. St still can't do a Zisto accent. Uh, our optimum spot is to drop it right next to the spawner. Uh, we have got some blocks still. She's about there. Yeah, right there. And flame base can like 10 damage drop it. Yeah. Alright. Come on. One down. One down. Let's give it two down. Seems to be this spot. Run! Jeez, they are... They're doing some damage. I'm worried about blowing up the wall from here. I'm worried. Can they get out of that lava pool? Doesn't look like it. What I'm going to do here is try and drop the TNT dead center. Uh, worst case scenario, if we blow up that, if we blow up the wool chest, um, the the wool won't blow up itself. Hopefully, that's the idea. Yes. No wool. No wool explosion, and the spawn's gone. Yes. Well, we have succeeded. Succeeded in our quest to blow blow shit up, which is uh, it's uh, ugh, sorry, headset adjust there. Now I just have to pick these guys off. Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, it appears I've killed all but one of them. It seems one of them. He's just hiding. Hiding away there. Uh, make some quick twitches. Light up a bit. It just seems like this guy. It's the last one. Sorry, you won't get there. Just slow just in through lava. Hey, die. Strong guy. Oh, God. Really? I'm not going to come this far to be undone by, like, normal mobs. No sorry, I'm going to... Go away, skeleton. I'm so nervous right now. Alright, let's just jump on there. Dig in. Light grey, as I thought. So cyan would be... Cyan would be at, um... Salaya, because it was light grey or cyan was, were the two we were looking for that I presumed were there. Um, so the Salaya fleecy box will have same uh, So, I suppose we have to take on that fleecy mob boss now. Uh, I'm not too sure how I'm going to take it on. I think the safe way will be the best though. Uh, I'm not really sure. I assume it'll be either really beefed up. Uh, oh god. Oh, please don't fall off here. It's directly into lava. I'm going to get my underpills ready. Um, I assume it'll be a really beefed up normal mob or or a stack of mobs. Hmm. Like a really beefed up. Like it, it'll probably have speed, uh, probably strength or something like that. And, you know, I don't think the TNT will help us too much. But my plan is to just kind of um make a bit of a hole for ourselves and try and hit its feet or something because I have no idea what it is uh... damn it Take that out. Don't that. Just leave that there. 
But yeah, that's that's gonna be the the idea, just to just to try and not fight it as much as possible, kind of thing. So I guess I'll meet you up there. All right, guys, here we are. Uh, I've made my way up. Uh, mostly, I actually went around this place. I've come back twice and actually looted it a lot. Uh, I think we found that bonus area. I'm not sure if I, I sure recorded that. Yeah, I did. I remember I was really nervous. But uh, I'm more nervous now because I don't know what awaits me. And I'm nervous as to what this the boss fight will bring. Um, hey, please. But I want to kind of think about it. We've got a good sword. We've got a sharpness four sword, and it's knockback. The looting doesn't really do much. Um, oh, really? A creeper? I like this area. Two shot kill. But, uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of kind of got lost in my thoughts there. Oh, there's heaps of blocks up here. I could have gone up here. Um, I'm working on biscuits now, cookies, because uh, I ran out of steak. Uh, projectile protection is that hitting towards an arrow boss? No, it's just random loot. So I'm nervous. I'm going to store away my stuff because I'm going to assume that I'm going to die in here. I'm going to assume that I'm going to die. Just check in. There's another power three. I've got a power three bot as well, which is handy. Um, hmm. So I'm going to use one of the chests. And I'm going to store... Oh, my bar. I'm going to store a bunch of stuff that I won't need for the fight. Uh, a golden apple, I guess. I won't need a pickaxe. Uh, I'll need blocks, definitely. I'll just take the two ender pearls, bones. Torches I probably won't need at all. Yeah. Just the one arrow. I'll just chuck them back. And that's it. Everything I need is on my bar apart from this arrow, which is kind of the the bow anyway. So those are my two I don't like that. See, I don't like that. I, I usually have it on three. So nervous. Oh god, I'm being swarmed by zombies. Oh, well, swarmed. Maybe these are the bosses. This would be good. Zombie massacre I'll take for a boss. Oh, can I can I hit someone, please? And that that zombie there is the main boss. Yeah. Surely it can't be that bad. Um, no? no? See, now I need my pick. No, I'm going to go get my pick. I'm going to go get it. Just in case I need to break blocks. It's kind of stupid of me. We create a totally safe area for ourselves. Creepers. Whoa. Oh, that was... So, obviously the spawner is in that... The mob box. And it looks like there's a creeper spawner around, which is lovely. This is exactly what I want when I'm trying to fight a boss. Oh, I'm nervous. So nervous. So nervous. <laughs> I'm scared it's just gonna spawn, just gonna rush me, I'm gonna shit my pants or something. Oh. Uh. Okay guys, apparently our mob boss spawned. Apparently. 
I just logged off recording, went back here to get... Well, stopped recording, went back here and got an extra sword in case I was breaks. I see this friggin' thing charging towards us. Oh, it's thorns. He's thorns. It's a wither. There you go. Speeded wither, which is... No, it's a normal skeleton. Okay, well, and I can't burn it. Apparently, thorns are very resistant to fire. Ah, you see, the wool is its head. Oh, this is... I'm taking a beating here. I hope it doesn't have regen. I got it! I got it! I did it! Got an apple! Oh, this is a super apple! Oh! This is a notch apple. Okay. Cyan wool. Thorns X, yes, of course. I don't believe you can wear non helmet things. No. Uh. Ooh. Nice iron chest plate. There's more of them, which I'm not going to deal with. Why, why would I, when I can not deal with them? And well, I guess I can get more of these, but we are out of here. Okay, that was okay. I, I was expecting about that. I was expecting a really beefed up normal mob. Now, I really, because I. I don't want to watch Vex's developer commentary and I've sort of finished the area, but now I'm really intrigued to go back and see what it actually was. It looks like... I think it was a skeleton disguised as kind of with, with a skeleton. It was... Oh, I want to get my stuff first. Um, made to look like it, so it may have had dyed pants or something. Obviously, Thorns X. Oh, that was brutal. Like you'd hit it and it's... Whoa. You could not hit it properly. You just had to keep trying to... I'm going to take that as a flame too. Yeah, it was, it was just really hard to kind of get a hit on him because... It wasn't hard to get a hit on him, but you couldn't get... Like, that strategy, we, we had to adopt that strategy or we would have died because it's pretty hard to hit a boss that you can't hit yourself. <laughs> pretty hard to hit a boss that you can't hit... No, that didn't make sense. Uh, it's pretty hard to fight a boss that you can't hurt. Someone make a gif of that. <laughs> Yo. Oh! See the lag every time I uh, get any lava and I have to pause? Pausing, great way to beat lag. I don't mind pausing to beat lag because it's not technically in the game. Alright, so I will meet you back at the Victory Monument. Welcome back, guys. I, Steve, would like to apologize for being such a bad LP. And just such a bad commentator on this map and everything. Not, well, not, not so much a bad commentator. I, I, I think my commentary's been okay, except for the random noises I've made. But I realize you didn't get to watch me put the wool in. Because it was a bad mistake on my part. Bad LPing. It was just bad video making. I don't want to make it up to you. So we're going to put the wool in. Chronological order. I think I can remember where each wool is from. <laughs> and yeah, we're, we're, along with the new two ones, the two new ones we just picked up very quickly. They were, they were very efficient. We smashed through them. So we are going to put Orange Wool from Lower Mines, Magenta from Everforge was our second one. Our third was Light Blue from Outer Darkness. Then slightly out of sequence, our fourth was White Wool from Flamey Spider Area. Uh, pink we obtained from the Mellow Cabin. Uh, lime from Haines Disgrace. Great area, that loved it. Favorite area was crap. Uh, yellow wool from Lush Ruins, not a bad area. Yeah, it was okay. Purple wool from Wilhelm Cliffs, we obtained next. Shortly followed by the grey wool, which we obtained from Flame Warp with a simple ender build. Then I realized when I went back to loot Lush Ruins, I looked up and we were able to get the iron block. And then shortly after, the gold block from Hades Disgrace again. 
And then lastly, we are able to obtain our Light Grey Wool and then our Thorns 10 Cyan Wool. And there we have it. Full line of them up to Purple Wool, which is nice. I like it when they're in sequence like that. Should be 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. 10, 11? Oh no, we've been to three intersections. Oh, I'm an idiot. Never mind. So we need blue, brown, green, red, black. Uh, ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Hmm. That's more than I thought to be at this stage. Mm, we'll go eight. Yep. So I think we should head to that intersection now.